What is happening all YouTube warriors out there? Range day bro at the range today. And as you can tell, we're filming a couple videos today, but while I was out here all kitted up, I just wanted to go over my newest setup and how I have my, my plate carrier, my war belt, and my main go-to rig all set up. So this isn't gonna be a deep dive on any of these things, but I'm just gonna give you the highlights of all of it since again, I'm out here at the range and I have it all on. So if you've ever looked up level four body armor, just to find out how much it costs and about shit a brick, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button guys. That's what happened to me, but here I am with level four plates. Uh, in my opinion, it's worth it to save up and get what you're wanting instead of just cheaping out and going with some steel plates or something like that. So let's start with the Mark 18 that you see right here, guys. This is no stranger to the channel. You guys have seen this before. As you can tell uh, from the buttstock and the vertical grip, this is now an SBR. And since I've SBR'd it, I'm very happy that I've done it. It's a two stamp gun with the SBR and the Dead Air Sandman S up here. So up top, we have the Dead Air Sandman S with the rifles only had heat ambient device suppressor cover. This guy is super hot even right now. So this can maintain heats of up to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. I just did a couple mag dumps in a row with this thing and it is holding up pretty nicely. It's very hot to the touch, but um, I even have the cord wrapped around behind the muzzle device here. You can tell it's holding up really well. So a uh, big shout out to rifles only on that badass suppressor cover. And it saved my leg a couple times from being uh, seared with that hot pickle up front. Under that, obviously, I have the Dead Air Chemo Flash Hider. We have a Midwest Industries front, fixed front sight post up here, a Surefire Scout 300 light. This is a 1500 lumen, badass white light up here. We have the Troy Industries vertical grip, the Riz2 rail from Daniel Defense with some of their rail covers and a Magpul rail cover up top, just to kind of keep the heat off your hands and give you a little bit better of a grip. And then moving back from there, obviously, Daniel Defense upper and lower receiver. On top of that, we have the EOTech EXPS3-2. That is the quick detach version with the night vision compatible. And the two is referring to the two dot reticle that it boasts. Then we have the uh, Vortex Micro 3X magnifier on there. Moving on back, we have a Magpul MBUS Pro folding rear sight. This thing is great for a, for a small or large aperture if your EOTech ever dies. But I have batteries in this pistol grip as well as in my vertical grip for the EOTech so that doesn't happen. Moving back from there, I have upgraded this with a Geisley Airborne charging handle. This is my absolute favorite charging handle. Uh, it's just super slim lined as you can tell when you're wearing it with a plate carrier. Just a lot less that can get hung up on this and pull you out of battery. Um, if you're worried about that, if you're running a placard like I am here. But before I get into my plate carrier, let's finish up with this B5 Sotbot stock. And everything else on here is stock Daniel Defense. Besides the Geisley trigger, this is their cheapest Geisley trigger that I upgraded it to. And it is phenomenal two-stage trigger. Um, I just love Geisley products. So great trigger, great charging handle. Everything else is Daniel Defense bone stock. And this guy is beautiful, runs great. It is a little gassy with the suppressor on there, but what AR isn't, it's super reliable. Never had a malfunction out of this thing. I just love this rig. So moving on past that, let me just pull this guy off. I have a Blue Force Gear Vickers Tactical Sling, as you can tell here, and I'm using the Blue Force Gear Sling points. And also I forgot I have a Magpul QD up here on the quad rail. So, so now let's talk about the plate carrier. So inside this, I have HESCO level four plates. These guys are rated for level four. And uh, so it'll stop armor piercing 5.56, armor piercing 308. These are not their smallest plates. They're a little bit larger. I believe they're 11 and a half inch by 12 or 13 inch, something like that. You could just tell I'm a pretty big guy. I'm 6'1", 260 pounds. So it covers all my vitals really well. And the, the plate in the front and the back is the same plate, the Hesco Multi-Curve. Love this plate. It's everything you need for a good price. And it's a little thicker. It's not too heavy, but it's sitting inside an HRT plate carrier. I love this plate carrier. It also has the Maximus placard up here in the front. As you can tell, this unclips and you could just take this guy right off if you wanted to run more of a minimalist profile. But I like this because I got two admin pouches up here that are actually, you know, gaffered so you don't they don't fall flat to the floor. Put anything in there, I keep my snacks in this one. And then in this guy, I have a multi-tool, a light, some things like that, but you can keep medical, you can keep whatever you want in here. And then also up top, it has three slots for mag pouches and you can tell that will go in like so. These are not your quick access mag pouches. These are kind of my backup emergency mag pouches up here. I do all my quick drawing from my war belt here, which we'll get into in a second, but huge fan of the HRT carrier. It's got padding up on the top and also got these loops up here for any kind of, if you're running a camel back or, or any kind of comms for wire management, things like that. It's got a big old carry handle on the back. So if you get hit, your buddy can drag you out. And there's also zippers on the back so you can put whatever back placards you want on there. I'm just running it slimline because 
cash is slim line right now. So anyways, moving on to the war belt here. Forgive the gut hanging over, but pretty much we have a war poet society. We'll start over here with a pistol. I have a Glock 19X with a Streamlight TLR 7 on here. So this is a pretty badass duty rated gun. Uh, Glock developed this gun for the military trials. And I'm a huge fan of this and a huge fan of this holster here. And so uh, it's got the thumb switch right here to get this guy out. You have to push that down to get it out. And it's also cut for the RMR, which I don't have on here yet, but eventually I will. I have a drop leg on here, but it's, I forget what this thing's called, but it's not a real drop leg. So when I'm running, this thing isn't fl flopping all over the place. It's pretty tight and it stays right where it needs to be at. Really a big fan of that. I moved my tourniquet from my plate carrier to back here because on my plate carrier was just getting in the way. Uh, when it was up here, my sling would catch on it every time I was bringing my rifle up. So I moved to the back of my war belt. A new addition to the war belt is the Blue Force Gear dump pouch back here. This thing is awesome. As you can tell, it all folds up right into this very small minimalist footprint back here when you put it all up in there. Put it all up in there. So that's really nice. And then I have my high speed gear mag pouches. I have a single rifle mag pouch here. I have a rifle pistol here and then two pistols for my backup magazines. And this is obviously where I'm going for my quick reloads. Uh, super speedy, not the best for re-indexing magazines, but for getting them out quickly, it's a great thing to have. And then when you have the dump pouch, you can just drop your old mags in there. And when you get to cover, you can re-index them accordingly based off of their capacity level. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the whole kit. That's what I trust my life to. All this shit isn't cheap, guys. So I know some of you guys might just have a part of this or a piece of this, or maybe you can't afford the Hesco plates. You have to go a little bit more budget, but I believe that this is a pretty budget setup for if you're gonna if your life's gonna depend on it this is as cheap as i would go i hope you guys enjoyed this video if it's your first time here please like comment and subscribe if you're a return viewer thank you for your loyalty you sexy youtube warriors and until next time stay safe stay dangerous range day bro out